close. In our next community conversation, we are joined by Daryl Smith, the audience experience manager with Live Arts. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, tickets now on sale for the Waterworks. Let's talk about this latest festival over at Live Arts. Yes, well, today tickets will on sale for our new Waterworks Festival. Um, we um, open on May 12th through June 3rd. Uh, we're going to have an amazing kickoff party on May 5th. Um, it's kind of like a, we call it a pool party, so we're going to have a live band and some good food and an introduction to what the festival is about. Um, the festival is like new plays and readings. Um, it starts on the May 12th, it goes through June 3rd, and then we're going to have a closing night dance party on June 3rd also called Moon Dance, nice. and there happens to be a strawberry moon that night also. Oh, nice. Obviously, the people in the audience will get to enjoy the, the final results of all the work, but take us through the process, like behind the scenes of what's happening leading up to this. Yeah, so uh, we've been playing this um, since last, last year. Um, this whole new waterwork project for us. So it's new works on Water Street. So it's new readings and plays. Um, we processed, we went through like 500 applications um, for this process. We narrowed it down to around 25. So we have like 25 new readings and plays um, at Live Arts for over four weeks. Um, we do a kickoff um, celebration, a preview, a free preview on Thursday at 11th. Um, you can get tickets at livearts.org for that. And then we're, we have an opening night festival, um, opening night, celebration with two new works on the 12th, and then we have 25 or so new wow. plays through June 3rd. So there's a lot of work involved. <laughs> I bet. Um, the actors are right now, they're rehearsing. I'm rehearsing for a show right now, also as part of the new works. And uh, keep my finger crossed that people will actually show up. Career love engaging the community because we're a community theater. All right, we know that volunteers play such a huge role in everything the theater does. Yes. What about in terms of this festival? How are volunteers involved? Well, from actors to stagehand to lighting and sound design. Um, also, I'm, I'm always looking for volunteers to help me um, at Live Arts. I'm the audience experience manager. Looking for ushers, front of house volunteers, and bartenders for this event also. And why ushering in particular? Why is that a good opportunity? Um, you know what the best thing about ushering? Uh, unlike other theaters, you get to actually have a seat and enjoy <laughs> the performance. Um, Waterworks obviously front and center at the moment, but yes. any other shows you're a little extra excited about? Well, there's one um, I'm very excited about. Um, it's called Silas the Uninvited. Um, it's a world premiere. Um, it's a young playwright from Cincinnati. Um, he will be here for the festival. He's coming from Cincinnati um, to see what magic we can bring to his work here. Nice. Yes. Let's, uh, let's cut through the nuts and bolts here for everybody. When is Waterworks again? Where can people find information about shows and purchase tickets? Yeah, so Waterworks is at Live Arts. Um, we're located at 123 East Water Street. Um, you can find tickets at livearts.org. Perfect. Get it done, and good luck. Enjoy. I know all the hard work will pay off. Uh, thank you for having us, and um, we love you guys and um, the community that um, you serve and we serve, too. Uh, we love having you. Say, say right back at you. <laughs> Casey?